Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you see, we're back at our infamous test station. Today we're going to be looking at the main body housing. We have done the tension test, which shears off here at about 280 kilos. Now we're going to do the compression test. This was actually more important. We haven't done it for many years. The last time we did it, I think we got over 300 kilos. I'm not sure. The whole point of it is when you're pulling to load, we don't want anything to, to damage here or break or destruct because that can be quite serious. That can hurt you. So what happened recently is we were not able to get the same glass filled nylon that we've always got for the last several years. We have upgraded it slightly in terms of the content of glass has been increasing over the years, but recently we weren't able to get the same material again. So we switched over to a different supplier. It appears fine, it looks fine, we have no idea, structure it should be fine, but it left quite a lot of cosmetic marks. So the first supplier who couldn't supply us the old material anymore found a new material, which he now sells. Apparently it's even better than the original one. So today's tests are gonna be on these three variances. The old type, the sample batch we made to see if they were good. We did over a thousand of these handles. If they're not good, we're gonna destroy them anyway because of the cosmetics. But then we're gonna be testing a brand new material. So I'll go through them with you. I just pulled out an old handle from the scrap and I'm gonna see how the jig we set up worked. If it doesn't work correctly, I'm gonna to have to modify it. Basically, it's a ram pushing on a rubber ball inside the barrel. When it's set up, it's gonna be slightly offset, which simulates you pulling on bands, and it's gonna be thrust onto this rubberized piece of timber as hard as we can, simulating the load on the chest. So we want to test this zone and this zone. The reason for this, for obvious reasons, is if it destructs when loading, this sharp edge is gonna hurt you, it could concuss you. And the last thing you wanna be in the water is concuss. That can lead to tragic circumstances. As you can imagine, this is a massive overkill in our opinion, but we rather have an overkill in terms of structural strength. If you're loading a 20 mil band, the best case scenario you're gonna pull is about 90 kilos. So we're hoping to get at least two and a half times stronger. This is like the Land Cruiser of vehicles. The, everything's overbuilt. We do that on purpose. We do not want any destruction. This is not like, a, I won't mention any other brands. <laughs> so structurally, this is super strong. Let's test it. We're now in position and we're starting to force it forward. We stand back a little in case of anything springing around. I think I'm getting too much deformity here. I don't want to damage the thrust. So I'm gonna change the angle a bit to push slightly straighter. We got up to 130 plus. Okay, we made a few changes. I've changed the angle a bit. Let's see what happens now. Still getting a lot of flex down, but that's going in the direction I wanted to go. Back where we were. I think the load cell is going to go there, it's starting to bend up. Now that's 180, I'm taking it off. More than adequate. So we did the test on a scrap 180, no deformation at this stage. I'm going to modify the thrust point. I see it's starting to bend. I'm going to try and make that even stronger still. And let's see what happens. So we got up to about 170 odd kilos and then the spigot on the load cell attachment started to flex. That inserts inside the ram's piston. We since machined up a much stronger collar that will now go over 
and structurally that should be a lot stronger than what we had in the past. Uh, took a while to machine it and uh, we've now got one for future tests. This is very good in terms of being able to thrust. In this case, the thrust is slightly offline, hence all the flexing. In the past where we've pushed, things were much more uniform and uh, it was able to handle it. But now we have an even stronger one. Let's reassemble it, start again. So there we go, already at 17. Remembering the previous break happened at about 250 plus, 270, not sure what. And you can only pull about 90 kilos, I would say. So anything it can hold greater than that is good. Things are pushing a lot straighter now. I don't want to push more than 250. The rubber is fully compressed. Let's slack her off. So that was just an old scrap handle. Now we're going to test what we had been supplying in the past for the last four or five years. Again, I'm only going to take it up to 250. All this distortion here is all because of the way it's been offset. As you see, it pulls straight once we start to load it. It's 100 kilos, you'd better to put more than that on it. It'd be quite painful to the chest. Well, there's just over 250. Everything still looks in shape. Nothing too stressed. Let me slack it off. You can see there's a lot of flex there. So that's been our standard handle for a long time. This is the one we had cosmetic defects. It's said to be exactly the same. Let's find out. There we're at 100, 120. I think I'm seeing a little bit of distortion there. We went right up to 270. There is a bit of flex in the handle itself. Zoom in on the handle while I slack it off. There you can see how much actual flex does occur before it comes off strain. Well, that's good that it didn't break. So they were more than adequate, but cosmetically, we're not happy. So we have gone to a new material. This is the new new, we're calling it new two. It does feel a lot more rigid. So set up exactly the same. Let's put some strain on it. Taking up a load. Quite a lot of deformation in the threaded bar. And I'll take it up to 300 just for curiosity. I'm seeing no deformation between 250 and 300. There's 350. I mean, that's some serious pressure. You're never going to put that in the handle. I'm going to slack it off slowly. Let's see how much it springs back. I'd say it's a little stiffer. It's said to be a better fabric, should I say material. Yeah, I'm happy with that. As you've seen, this one performed well. We're gonna do multiple more testing of these off camera, just to make 100% certain before we go back into production. Hi again, bonus. We forgot to test this specific material in tension. This as explained before, when we broke them the last time in tension, 
it handled about 280 kilos. That's not something you're ever gonna be able to pull. So the occasional situation may arise where a large reef fish has taken your gear into the reef. It's too deep to dive it out. You tie it off on the boat and you haul on it. The older handles used to break at 280. Now we're gonna see what this new material does. Although it's freshly molded, nylon needs to absorb moisture. So they are a little bit more brittle straight out of the molding machine. So this is brand new. Let's see how good it is. Remember we had 280 on the last lot. Everything's changed up now to be in tension instead of thrust. It's gonna block my eyes in case. I'm expecting it to handle 200 at least. There we go past. 230, getting tight. 240. And there we pass the old one. Well, it's over 300. I'm not gonna break it. Things get quite airborne here. Take the pressure off. So, as confirmed, the supplier was right. This is a better material. We're getting over 300 then, it didn't even break. I'm not gonna pull any harder than that. Pretty pointless. On a side note, any of you guys suffer with seasickness? I have a technique I've been using over the years that works brilliantly. It's non-medicated and it definitely works for 95% of the people. So if you ever suffer from seasickness for any kind of boating, if you're interested, make a comment below and uh, I'll do one on seasickness and how to get around those issues for obvious reasons. If you suffer with chronic seasickness, it can be very debilitating and can really mess up any dive trip, fishing trip, any boating trip, yachting, you name it. This method I use because I really suffer badly with seasickness, but with this technique, problem's gone away. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stand by for the next.